Hello, AVM here. I use the Nokia Lumia 950 on Windows 10 Mobile as a daily driver for a month in 2022. Before I start this video, I want to lay out some things. First of all, this is the top of the line when it comes to Nokia Lumias, right next to the Nokia Lumia 950XL. And while I did try to get a prepaid SIM for the phone, because I had read somewhere that it supported VoLTE, unfortunately, because non-4G is not supported in the USA anymore, I had to rely on Hotspot a lot, and of course that meant for certain stuff that I needed, like calls and texts, among other more important things that Windows 10 Mobile could not do, but Android could, I would use my main phone for. So let's get into it. So the specs. The Lumia 950 was actually quite ahead of its time. It had dual SIM, an AMOLED 1440p 16x9 display, a 6 core CPU, 32GB of storage, and 3GB of RAM. It could also record video at up to 4K at 30fps and even 1080p 60fps. It had USB-C 3.1 and a 3000mAh battery that supported fast charging up to 18 watts. All of this in 2015 for around 280 euros or $272 USD today. The Google Pixel 2 for comparison released two years later and only then beat the Lumia 950 by a good amount. For the hardware, it was a really great deal, however, there's still a lot more to talk about later. When it came to the setup of the phone, the phone actually came out of the box with Windows 10 Mobile, which is quite uncommon, as most Nokia Lumia phones come with Windows 8 Mobile, and that was all you could get, or for some, allowed you to update to Windows 10 Mobile. I updated to the most recent version of Windows 10 Mobile and then unlocked the bootloader since that was what was required for interop unlocking, or jailbreaking the Nokia Lumia 950. Using the phone without interop unlock is definitely usable, and you could sideload up to 10 apps if you turn on developer mode, but interop unlocking helps with allowing you to do a lot more, including registry stuff. When it comes to the app experience on here, a lot of people say that the reason Windows Mobile died was because of the lack of app support. And while that's factually true, I feel like I have everything I need. You want Discord? Use Unicord. YouTube? Use MyTube. Twitter? There's still an official web wrapper that works. Telegram? Use Unigram. There's also a bunch of games, including the weirdest versions of Ultra Radio Mobile and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You know that you could run Minecraft Bedrock 1.16 on here natively? Pretty cool. Even the default map applications like Maps still works and Microsoft Store too. There's more stuff that you think, and to be honest, you're not gonna miss many apps. When it came to use, I would mostly just play games, and the library for that was specifically was good, but I also used MyTube to watch videos. It's actually a surprisingly good YouTube client, the subtitles are really smooth, and I honestly think it may even be a little bit better than what is offered in the stock YouTube app. Honestly, mostly everything you would need is on this platform, and you can even run Windows on ARM using Lumia Woa if you can manage to set it up. Finally, I wanted to go through some photos that I took. The camera is pretty good, and with HDR, it becomes more accurate to real world with colors, in my opinion. Nowadays, everything as AI adjustments and this is I believe mostly raw so it's nice to see such a nice camera working like this. Overall the phone with everything given is pretty good experience. It feels like Windows 10 on a phone. Sure it's definitely held up by the community surrounding it but that just makes it feel less restrictive. In my opinion if this phone could still be used with a sim I would still use it as a great phone for the price but unfortunately over time all this phone is allowed to be is a novelty. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.